What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to ZSR and welcome to round one, which is still going off a D. A link to the past randomizer crossworld key sanity tournament. Um, we already had a few round two matches, but that doesn't matter because now it's time for round one again with Korak versus Brainy. And now we just dive into the action. And I say hi to the commentators for today, to Alasun and to Hamster, who's currently muted and thus not showing on the layout. Ham, unmute yourself! God damn it! <laughs> hey everybody, how's it going on this uh, Saturday? I woke up and I get to calm instead of working today, so I'm gonna call it an improvement on yesterday. <laughs> nice. Round one. Yeah, these two in round one is... <laughs> um, this, yeah. This is not the matchup you want in round one. Or, I mean, it's the matchup you want to watch in round one. It's certainly not the matchup you want to be in in round one. Yeah. Um, Korek kind of intentionally forfeited two of his qualifiers to uh, tank his seed, so he'd have a more interesting road to the tournament. But uh, definitely a possible winner of this tournament. Yeah, both of them very good in entrance right now. Off to the races. And the pot smoky. Beautiful. Korg's cropping is so insanely weird. Give me a second to fix that. I couldn't see that on the on the safe hall screen. It was impossible to see. Alright, we're seeing a couple of relatively standard openings here. Uh, Korg going with the... Uh opening designed to just get rid of the orphaned Hyrule Castle ID place uh, with a really nice red rupee tree pool coming. Yeah. So if you find a bomb shop, they'll be able to just buy bombs right away. Meanwhile, Blaine farming bombs in the uh, arrow bush under the sanctuary or, or the um, whatever the heck the f sacred meadow? Sacred grove? There we go. Yeah. And magic bed in the castle, so I'll have to wait a bit. Uh, I was saying... That. We talked about Korek, uh, but uh, Blaine's for a while been one Ooh. of the, like... Eight bomb drop for Korek from one of the guards. Uh, well, and there's a shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, not, go not ahead. Quite as big of a deal uh, with the shop, but even so... Um, But yeah, Buane is, uh, if you watch just like normal open mode, you'll find Buane's one of the like really best runners you're going to run into there. Uh, yeah. But has really only just started picking up entrance for this tournament. And if you've sort of been watching his trajectory, he's really been improving over the course of this tournament. Uh, and so I'm excited to see how he does. Uh, Correct definitely feels to me like he's going to be favored in this match, but... Yeah. I think that this is a really intriguing match. And there's the powder. <laughs> oh, I guess we can get the bet after all. Yep. And Boyne finds K45 in the front of the tavern. Get the Smiths and Lumberjack house. Oh, last one's just some bombs. Let's see what the drop down is. Drop down's obviously very important. And correct. Keep ma keeps making use of his knowledge of the tier 1 tree pool. Yeah, this is a pretty good way to farm a lot of money real quick. Yeah. Uncle in the Lost Woods. Alright, it looks like Boyne's gonna take the uh, Super Bunny connector right now to see where this goes and also provide him with a full magic drop. And the hammer for my uncle, or rather the chest near him. Yeah, that's uh, one of the best items you're going to find early in the game. Uh, yeah, I'd probably for sure. I, I would rather have probably like Boots, Flute, Pearl, Mirror. But other than that top tier, Hammer's probably the item I most want to see. Yeah, it gives you access to locations and it's an incredibly good weapon for the early game. And it also stops the ever awful uh, Ice Palace Hammerless Dive. <laughs> yup. Let's see what's in Super Bunny. Big 20. And a few bombs. Eh. Not great. Uh, correct finding a dark room. Yep. And uh, uh, I think that's a start. Not moment. to navigate it. Yeah, I'm not sure which one that was. We heard bats. But... Oh, see, we heard bats, so I would 
guess that it's probably the back of um not the smiths uh the old man start yeah or isn't aren't the bats in one of the death mountain descent or in the death mountain descent cave as well uh i guess it depends which side there, there is one of the ends of death mountain descent where the bats uh. are there Looks uh, like Wayne now going to fake flipper over to the witch's hut. Yep, correct. Setting up a safe scum quickly. If he doesn't find anything in the back of this and can save the key to just run to the back instead. Yep. But yeah, Wayne running now. What's probably my favorite opening in this mode. Yeah, where same. you fake flipper to the witch's hut and just get this really inconvenient entrance out of the way. And also Hulahan off it. Uh, he's a bitch. And that's a good find, as Boyne eats a laser straight to the stomach on his attempted laser skip. But he'll get these chests pretty quickly. Annoyingly, he doesn't have a good weapon to get rid of the, of the Oppo, or whatever nah, they're called. Bombs are easy. I mean, yeah, still. It just means every death he take is gonna yeah, take more time bomb. than it would otherwise. Oh, well, that cane kind of makes it easier. Yeah, although I'd imagine he's he probably just going to keep his magic and just use the skips. Another pot key down in the in the in escape. Or, well, I guess it's not part of the sewers yet. Escape's probably the best. Yeah, and one in Laser Bridge as well. Yep. So that's three already, I think. That's three very, very early in logic, uh, and which puts a pretty good number of chests, especially with the lamp, into logic if you find pod. Oh, uh, the laser so... bridge not quite in logic yet. Considering uh, one fair, of the fair. items to get the yep, laser that's bridge. That's fair. Is... Cape would be required to put it in logic. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, the and guy... a free well. Oh, uh, nice. free well always feels good. Unlike the inevitable pain that is the well under the Ganon drop down. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I threw a tournament match already by chasing the well instead of- and Oh! A mirror in the well! <laughs> this is a uh, nice stop. Uh, and the glove! <laughs> that might be- This might already be the best well I've ever seen in cross keys. Yeah, mirror and glove is incredible early game for cross keys. I would say mirror is probably, I would rate, the single best item early yeah. in the game. And I'd probably rate gloves as the third best item behind the pearl. Yeah, probably. Like, mirror, mirror is amazing already. If you find early pearl, it's even more amazing. Oh. And now, Gwain going for Hulahan to stock Did, up on money. I assume Gwain hasn't checked the tree pole, right? Uh, Gwain, no. He doesn't know. I was say, I assume he... Well, I guess he might have Hulahan just as a way to get back to his house. Yeah, uh, probably. So we can check these. To go to castle. We saw a green potion bottle on race game. Which might be relevant. Probably not. And now also finds out about the shop. He's gonna see the magic bat coming here as Korek is exploring out the rest of Kakariko. Yep. Which we didn't see Boyne do. And Boyne, unfortunately, I think is on the tier 2 tree pole. Uh, and we find Ganon who is going to be in the uh, Magic Bat drop down. Blindside as well. Freely available. This is a very, very stacked Sphere Zero. Yep. Let's see if there's something in here. Oh, so far, not too great. Another pod key. Um, okay. Well, that's four pod keys that we've that's... seen. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about you, three chests and logic, right? But <laughs> I am get... feeling a, I'm feeling a cape and sphere zero and a moon pearl in the big key chest and pod. Something like that, yeah. This is, uh, say, or something in the three key lock chests and the one on laser bridge is just a distraction. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne now going through the same motions, finding bed in uh, Hyrule Castle, save and quitting, and then finding his powder. I'll have to come back there later. And the bush house in Kek is the left side of Turtle Rock. 
not catch it earlier. Wayne now also gonna get his hammer, which is really nice. Oh, that's a rather annoying connect that Korak just found. Which one did he find? I was looking at windscreen. Um, the one that ha where you, from the top you can just drop down, but from the bottom okay. you gotta go up. I don't know what it's in vanilla. I would say it's the uh, escape door from Turtle Rock. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, right, because the ferry's there. Or number five connector on my map tracker. <laughs> I always enjoy watching other people's streams to see how they mark stuff, because I've never run into someone who marks stuff the same way as anyone else. Yeah, Everyone everybody's got his own little, marks. little thingies. Front of Desert found in Kek as well. It's yeah, a very yeah. annoying place to find, because yeah. it's a very inconvenient, like, it's one check, but it's very slow that you're guaranteed to, as we find Meyer coming Meyer? out of it too. <sighs> That's three dungeons in Kek alone. Big key of Eastern? Uh, which big key was it? Eastern Palace. Eastern, okay. That's a decent find. Hey, don't hate on Spiral Cave Connector. You know, once I actually made the correct play to either go through or not go through Spiral. <laughs> I've never made it after that, but... Pretty much. Uh, Spiral Cave is terrible. <laughs> That's an almost vanilla boomerang, right, in the escape? I just realized. First chest uh, instead of the second one. Yeah, it is almost boomerang. <laughs> uh, Blaine goes straight to the scum. He didn't even go for the second chest, did he? Uh, yeah. Oh, he did? Okay, sorry, he went... Uh, okay. No, he, he just checked the first one, sorry. Um, but considering that... The back of escape is locked behind the uh, Ega. I can understand this. Oh yeah, yeah, I understand it. I'm surprised he didn't grab the second chest before scumming. Yeah, no, especially he since he has the mirror. I would say he might be willing to scum this. Uh, given that he only has picked up... Oh no, he's picked up hammer for this. Yeah, no way he's gonna scum this. Yeah, he's no, he's in. not safe quitting. He's just going for this. I would say Residador now going back through. Using the boomerang to find his way through the dark. Should be hitting the chest soon, I think. I think correct. Is it also a key to pod? Did I read that right? Uh, I missed that. In the dark? Correct's doing the same thing as Boyne, except correct. Uh... Oh, IP small. Okay. Thanks, Chad. Okay, that's less scary than the pod small. <laughs> yeah. As Korak realizes he probably wants this pod key. <laughs> Did I call Residador? I don't think so. Yeah, you I said Residador. Okay, uh, I must have been reading Residador's comment in chat. <laughs> Apparently, Resi is just playing. Residador, uh, one of our tournament admins who's been dropping in on our chat uh, in this race, of course. As Boyne is now taking a look at the results of his hard scum scum. 20, 20. <laughs> I'm going to call that not worth it. Uh, and it's only going to cost him a pod key, but... Yeah, shouldn't be too consequential. Considering none of it is in logic without the actual key, so... Uh, the Hyrule Castle key. Interesting, the front of Hyrule Castle leads out of Hyrule Castle. At the top. And we find Ganon's Great Tower. To GT. Very nice. Uh, we'll see if... Blaine knows this bomb jump here. <laughs> Vanilla small key, nice. And another Skull Woods key. Hmm. I would expect that Blaine will probably go... If he's familiar with his bomb chest, he'll probably go for... Uh, the Stafos chest here. Although yeah. this is a little less straightforward bomb jump if you don't play a lot of entrance. It's kind of like a reverse Ice Palace bomb jump. Don't uh, play, Correct. Alright, he's going for it. 
and seems to know roughly what he's doing. I'm not sure if that's low enough. Yeah, it looks like a couple pixels high. This one at least isn't like pixel perfect, so you have some room to play with, but... I think this should be good. Nice. Yeah. And this one is just a regular one, I think, right? Yeah, unfortunately doesn't have a sword to buffer this with, but should still be okay. Very just nice. To... Not by two selfos. <laughs> Correct expressing his feelings for that, uh, back of escape. <laughs> and that bomb jump is going to be super worth it. What? What a IP big, Hera big, and bow. That's a really, really good sequence break, especially given that they already have the Easter or the the Easter big key is early in logic, and so Boy yeah. will likely find it soon. Yep. And therefore, as soon as he finds Eastern Palace, he will just be able to one trip it. So that's a, I mean, that's a really nice sequence break, uh, and. If you're looking to play a lot of entrance, that's definitely a bomb jump that's worth learning. <laughs> oh, so yeah, Buen opts to uh, not walk all the way up to the Dark Chapel dude to get the hint here, uh, and is going to take his powder to Magic Bat. Uh, so really, really nice, really nice placement of Hyrule Castle exit for yeah, Buen. That one, that one just worked out nicely. Korak now following Super Bunny. Correct, doing one of the lesser known things that you can do in Super Bunny Cave, where you don't actually have to drop down to the last drop down. Yeah, that guy's a storyteller, Gem. I actually usually skip it, but yes, it's a storyteller, as Magic Bat is not worth it. Kind of surprising. I was, I mean, I know what the storyteller caves look like, but most of them just aren't worth it. In my opinion. I mean, there's only like two caves that aren't containing hints now. Or items. Yeah. <laughs> so like, basically just walk up all of them. Let's see. Doesn't also, Chad, if you want to give uh, Tresco crap for not putting 4Town as a FFZ emote on ZSR, this would be a great time. <laughs> because it just feels wrong to use hints forehead instead of hints 4Town. <sighs> <laughs> You know, you know how how awful it is to constantly have to log in and to all uh, to uh to way authenticate with your fucking ZSR account. Rip. Oh, I do. Damn. That's why I'm asking you to do it instead of me. I also email called. Uh, Four Town. Wait, does Four Castle? I haven't seen that one yet. All right, I also have not seen Four Castle. I'm in <laughs> incredibly intrigued, but I'm busy calming this race. Uh, I'll say right now, Korek could really use a visit to the useless fairy drop down. Big cave. Okay, Jem, if we're gonna talk here, six head is the best of the heads, but <laughs> Four Town is still better as these runners are just kind of doing some entrance checks at this point. All right, correct doing the fake flipper gets it real quick. Really nice. Uh, yeah, yep. And is almost certainly going to pick up his mirror and glove off of this. I'm expecting... Expecting Wayne to somewhat soonish check out like South Shore and maybe even the way to Desert, since he's got the glove, he doesn't need to like orphan entrances over there. But he might also opt to just try and follow some connectors, see if he lands in Dark World, explore there, and make use of his mirror. Yeah, I can definitely see that c coming here. Uh, I. Like I said, this chest is my least favorite chest to have progression early in the game. Yeah. Kane. And... You could call that progression. Uh, it may still not be required in any capacity early on, but we'll see. And Boyne will at least get this hint. Uh, nice. And this would be a great time for a four castle or four town. Darknet and Palace of Darkness, just what we wanted. Except we don't know where Pod is. 
So, left exit to those are leading us to... Alright, I, I really, really need to thank chat for turning me on to Forecastle. This is an incredible emote. <laughs> <laughs> as Korek is now going to drop into the well, as Buane does follow one of the storytellers. And this is a gold Lamp and sword in left side swamp. Now oh, that's valuable. Yeah, uh, if you go in there without fire, without a fire source already, uh, I mean, you're not usually skipping left side swamp if you go early ish in entrance anyway. Skip it, Emo. <laughs> uh, whether Who I would skip swords? or not would definitely depend on what my items were at that point. Yeah. Era Baseman yeah. just has a GT small key, if I read that correctly. That is correct, and that is a basement I will would not be paying a visit to here, as Korax going to drop yeah. into the grave with his newly found glove. We'll just find a stupid fairy, sadly. <laughs> but decides to quit out anyways. Looks like Wayne found old man exit. Yeah. Uh, the parrot hint was the left side swamp hint that has a lamp and a sword, legend. You know. Uh, I suspect we will. Uh, if I'm counting right, I think we've seen every drop down, and that puts the uh, thieves' hideout from Lost Woods under the Ganon Tower, right? Yep. Just one item extra behind. Oh, mimic cave now getting cleared. So we got that hammer. Piece of art. Early on, a few hearts are nice to find, just so you don't get bodied in the dark world. Oh yeah, definitely. It's never bad to just get a little bit of health. And there's Bruin with the old man. Spiral and cave. And there's Ugh. Spiral Cave with the reverse. At least it's not Spiral Cave. And Ugh. there's a map on Lake Hylia. Uh, good chance that gets skipped, although we'll see if people get to the point where they're just trying to figure out what the last crystals and pendants are. Yeah. Sometimes you want those maps, but most often you find out other ways. Instead of doing one slow check for a map. Let's see what else we find on Death Mountain. The front of Turtle Rock. Well, Boyan does have a cane of Samaria, although he walks right past the hint. I assume he'll probably pick it up on his way out. Yeah. Oh, Spiral Cave leads to Maya area. Together that's, with the mirror, that's really good. That's miserable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's miserable in the sense that you'll probably have to go here a few more times, but... Uh, also worth noting, Boyan is one of the... Uh, is not someone who runs a ton of... Uh, entrance and consequently insists that you don't need quick swap to play entrance and he's allowed to be wrong <laughs> as an entrance is just have to chess minigame with just a piece of heart maybe the Maya saying, has a bit more yeah to be fair to the Meyer pieces Ooh, ice palace on top of that mountain as well What is Maya Bombos? Yep. And little known knowledge for a lot of people that you can actually mirror from the top of Meyer. Uh, learn that from Goomba, who's nicely sitting in chat. Uh, that could be a destination after you find the... That would be a really awful spot for... Yeah. Uh, a like moon, moon pearl. Or something. <laughs> you bunny you walk through the dark world to go to race game to get your only available bottle for yep. this for sick kid. Ugh. I was saying, the one nice thing about having the mirror here is that you can at least do the super bunny glitches. Wow, Korek finds his mitts. pearl locked mitts. Juicy. Super bunny being, or super bunny with mirror being one of those glitches that's really useful to learn if you play entrance. Yeah. Uh, makes it a lot less terrible to bunny walk through this area. Uh, and we have the back of Skull Woods, so Korak will pick up one free chest and peace out, unless this is... Well, no, he's just going to peace out. There's nothing in this chest that could let you complete this dungeon. Yep. Floating island useless up on Death Mountain. And a Gina's cave. 
I'm assuming he'll drop down in the middle for two entrances instead of one. Uh, that's my usual pattern. I've definitely gotten bit before by going to the wrong one a lot of times. Oh yeah, see that. And Korak gonna get the free check of these desert entrances out of this. So, Osrela, hello. And we're gonna find out that the green pennant is Ice Palace. Hmm. Oh, he's going and for Spiral. Nope, Wayne's going for Spiral. Which has the other and side of the shitty connector. It's the other side of the nice. connector hit. That's really uh, good. And Korak finding a very in logic pod big key. Ooh. Oh, apparently Wayne say... didn't quite recognize that that's the connector. <laughs> or he wanted to go back here, maybe. I would say, did Bwyn finish all of CAC? I don't feel like he did. Uh, most of it? And an early he... logic swamp. Didn't catch the hint. Shoot. Uh, flute can be found in Thieves Town. Interesting. If it's early available, no. flute is still pretty good. We're still two items and the dam off of being able to do this. Hmm. But at least worth noting that with the lamp on, uh, so we're we need the dam, we need the swamp small key, we need the flippers. But that would put the lamp in logic, and so with more small keys, we could easily see something from this bonanza of early Palace of Darkness stuff. Misery Mine right. leads to a common shop. That's always a good one to find, uh, especially given how Corex routed. Yeah. He's cleared out yep. the entire area now. Yep. It's all good for him. That Misery Mire connector is going to be a nice boon here for Korek. Yep. Yeah, Gem, that's that's definitely what's going on here, which certainly makes Boyne an overwhelming favorite in this match, right? Oh! There's and that's Eastern. an early, fully clearable Eastern for Boyne if he finds it. Yep, uh, Korax said he doesn't Korak have to bowl. Did not take the Hyrule Castle connector to find Ganon's tower. Yep. And he still would need the sequence break, so... Oh, and it has the moon pearl! Oh. Ooh. Well, at least Korak decided to go straight in. Yeah. That's good for him. Uh, so... XCOM, these are not pools. Uh, Korak is relatively lowly rated because he forfeited a couple of his matches and qualifiers to effectively artificially lower his seed. And Boyne has been learning entrance over the course of these races and has been doing steadily better in the races over the over time. Some hot, hot sandbagging. That's true, sorry. He, 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 he did run out of time. He thought he could finish <laughs> one of the qualifiers in five seconds, and when he couldn't, he had to forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> I will be honest, though. Corex forfeit with the ran out of time comment a minute into a seed gave me Was the biggest laugh good, I've yeah. in a really oh. long time. That's why Brain uh, dropped a spiral, because he knew the connector led to um, laser bridge exit, so he could mirror those two. That makes sense. Yep, Took him a bit sense. of time, but probably well worth it. Instead of climbing West Death Mountain again. Book in the All big right. chest of Eastern. Well, oh, okay. If Sick Kid has something that at least prevents him from having to retraverse the Mire connector, although it may still be faster than walking off to desert. Yeah. At the same time, yeah, he, if he gets a Dark World available, he can like connect Bomber's tablet, at least looking at it. Yep. With that's true. Sick it check later on. And it's pretty likely that we'll see a Dark World connector at some point. Although, I mean, he he just has pure Dark World access at this point. So. Oh, true. Yes, Mitz. Uh, he, he has hammer. It's so. hammer. <laughs> also, he even has logical Dark World access. True. True. East of Mountain so far basically empty. Yeah, yeah. a little disappointing. 
compared to usual, but I mean, with as stacked of a cac as we had, it's not shocking. Then again, Spectacle Rock might prove interesting. Yeah! Wayne getting the option to get a hint, get an item, and check two entrances off of this if he can land the bomb jump. Ooh, one chest behind Pyramid, Fer uh, Pyramid Fairy. Ops to not bother with the sequence break. Uh, I can empathize with that. Sometimes sequence breaks do more harm than good. Yeah. Uh, and that's still a nice hint to pick up. Although it's a little bit of a uh, scary hint. You don't have any idea what it is. There's the dam. And there's that dam. With the Swamp Bicky. <laughs> uh. Uh, I do not believe Korek got the left side hint, right? It was just Boyne? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. That's a great point, Gem. Uh, literally nobody has ever pulled off that bomb jump without a sword. Also, Speckhart leading up to Dark Death Mountain. Which is kind of nice, so he can clear out basically all of it. And finds the bomb shop. We will need Turtle Rock and Pod. Well, now we know why you get so many small keys for Pod. We need all six of them, logically. And there is a Moon Pearl Locked Pod. Uh huh. That'll be a nice bounty for Korak once he uh, finds it. Yeah, it's actually a very little known fact that when you play swordless mode, you start the game and just says, no, you lose, and it ends. <laughs> Blue mail from clearing out the dam and just walking over to it and mirroring real quick. Pretty nice. And yeah, it looks like he's going uh, for almost. Showing off a different Super Bunny glitch uh, about a half a minute ago. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, one way to put yourself as if you have the Moon Pearl in a dungeon, as we find Quake, Quake on the Baldos right? tablet. Ooh. Huh. Huh. That's, that's a thinker. But if you just take a death and save and continue in the dungeon, you get the free ability to move as if you had the Moon Pearl. So Boyd not going to really get hurt at all by his lack of Moon Pearl here. Uh, we'll see how he's going to route this with three keys. Unfortunately, did not pick up the big key, so this is going to be a really nice trip for Bonta when he comes in here, depending on how much he's willing to do and how much he's willing to route. My with, four keys, you, with four keys, you can theoretically clear the whole dungeon if he does do that sequence breaking again in its tower to find the bow. Castletown small key on the ball outside. And a TR small key. So Did I really call him Bonta? Oh my goodness. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick nap. I'll be right back. <laughs> See you in two hours. Yeah, uh, Bonta here. I'm in the room. Let me link the seed for you. <laughs> Look, we're just gonna say that this match is just Bwayne versus everybody Bwayne's playing. Whatever I call them. Back All right, as Goomba desert. now finds the back of Desert Palace. Uh, that one might have been intentional. <laughs> All right, as Korek is going to line up and find the bottle. Yep. Interestingly, um, Wayne, did he actually grab the BK chest? Because I saw uh, him Wayne... down on the left side. Oh no, he didn't. No, okay. he did not. He did not yeah. grab the BK chest. He, wanted... he... he only had three keys. He bumped so the hole and dropped down on the left side, but apparently, like, came Oh, so senses. he was doing it because it was faster. Because he didn't have any. He didn't have a way to bonk back. Oh, because he can't bonk over. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, as Korak here this? clearing Mini Moldorm Cave. <laughs> three Mini Moldorms on the left side? They did something wrong. Look, mini moldrums are allowed to make their choices. Don't judge them. Another and pod key. Another pod key. And flippers. So that's yeah, that's our lamp and logic now, right? Yup. 
That's what Ken Ramp is now side. fully in logic with five pod keys and the pod big key in logic. Yeah. Or so already, I'm... not in logic, but already found. GT big. Uh, Oh yeah, the small key. Right, 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 right. I thought we had that one already, but we only found oh. the big key. Yeah, we don't have the small, small, we have the small and big. Thanks, Chad. Big game, sadly for nothing. To be fair, you only need the swamp small key if you don't have the cane of Samaria, and Boyne has the cane of Samaria and the ability to shut off his stream and use illegal glitches, so... <laughs> Yeah, uh, Ken, link to the, or sorry, uh, GT is in the upper left castle entrance with the only path we have to the castle right now uh, being through the bottom of Hyrule Castle. Uh, correct, I mean, obviously. Also yeah. has the ability to just go there in Dark World and Mirror. Yep. I would say, uh, although I don't necessarily see him heading that way any time in the next, like, five or ten minutes. And there's Thiefstone. We may find our flute in the... I would say, it's with just... that hint saying that flute is there, I'm a... I mean, I'm always oh. rushing those <laughs> chests. There it is. <laughs> Boyne is in Dark Maze in Palace of Darkness right now, Jindra. Yeah. He's got the first chest. I didn't see if he got the second chest. They've taken vastly different routes, like, once the early game stuff was checked. Uh, Ken, no, if you go into the basement of Thieves Town, the smith stops following you. Yeah. But since he doesn't have the big key, he can't. Uh, the smith actually owes a life debt to the thieves, and so he decides <laughs> to commit suicide instead of paying it if you go to the basement. So uh, we find silvers. Uh, so it seems to be super worthwhile here. Yeah. Can activate his flute right away. Really nice. Oh, so yeah. One of the things I really, really like about entrance, as I think Boyne's gonna get the misery in my hand. Yeah. One of the things I really, really like about cross keys in general, though, is you can get such diverse routing that players can do. Yeah. Uh, and so I probably would favor Kovac right now. I think he's going to hit a couple of the spots Boyne did with a little more efficiency. But both runners have things that you could argue for them as here are very distinct advantages that they have. Uh, that bow is a big find for Boyne. And if Kovac doesn't find it before he finds Pod, uh, Kovac is again also going to have to revisit Pod. Really depends if Corey goes for the um, pyramid and mirror first, or if he finds the connector to um, Death Mountain first, and follows it, I guess. Yeah, we'll see how committed Corey is to his route here, since yeah. with flippers he can like Corey's in a position where he can actually check a lot of entrances very efficiently in both Dark World and Light World, given his mirror. Yeah. I expect him to route all the way up to the smiths. I would say he'll definitely at least turn yeah. the smiths here. The question is, does he then take the flute to Death Mountain, or does he... <laughs> Wayne slightly annoyed by the big key find. After just having visited Pod. Looks like Wayne is gonna find Eastern now, which will give him his Moon Pearl. And, oh, quick connector up to um, Bumper Edge, which makes his route even faster. <laughs> the Fountain of Happiness. Oh. Blue mail coming in handy against the murder bird. And the hook 
shuttable side of Bumper Ledge. Mm, uh, bumper Cave. Yep, that's a uh, really nice find there. Oh, yeah. uh, Ken, I'm not sure which match you mean by the 4 p.m. match when you asked. Uh, the Rokin vs. Ridley Dragon match that's starting in 20 minutes is ZSR2 planned. And the Jinxie Girl vs. Master Slowpoke match in about 5 hours is... Uh, that's probably the 4 p.m. match in Pacific Time is on ZSR3. Uh, and yes, Jindra, in cross keys, you can do some very, very interesting paths with the smith. You can't actually deliver the smith as a toad, though. Uh, there are actually rules where the smiths can be. Uh, the smiths are always in light world in locations that are accessible with only the mitts and nothing else. And they forge a big key to Meyer. Nice. I would like to thank uh, Amazing Ampharos for dropping it on my stream and correcting me on Smith's logic before, so I actually know it. Ooh, oh, that's a huge good for Korak. For Korak. <laughs> that's some of the advantage that uh, Wayne had gone. Yeah. Hints forehead. Unfortunately, no. Bumper cave, which doesn't put everything in there in logic. But when he finds the bow, I wouldn't necessarily be surprised if Korak... Uh, ...say, well, no, Korak's taking no GT keys. So he'll probably go there before he goes to Death Mountain, but he may not uh, go particularly far other than Stafa's room. Which, of course, is all he needs for the bow to be able to one clear Palace of Darkness. Also, the other really nice thing about that hookshot is it virtually eliminates the possibility that you're going to need to dive swamp without the hookshot. Especially with what uh, he already has. It's possible with, like, either in Vanilla Turtle Rock or uh, if it's in one of the boots locked entrances with boots and swamp. So it's not 100% eliminated but it's still going to be much less likely that you're going to need to do that. Yeah. So I suspect Korek won't be looking to go into Swamp until he at least has uh, the Swamp Small and Hookshot at that point. Hey, yo, for Sword. Incoherent, my single favorite gamble to make in cross keys is to take the uh, smiths into a dungeon I can clear that I don't know if it's a pennant or crystal. <laughs> because Where if you beat fall? a crystal dungeon, he disappears. If you beat a pennant dungeon, he doesn't. As Boyne's going to get to one trip Eastern Palace, which is nice for him. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, I would much rather be able to one trip Pod than one trip Eastern Palace, so advantage to Korak on this one. True. Korak making tripping. real good use of his mirror, like routing the entire North Dark World in one go. Oh yeah, this is this is and great, paradox. great routing efficiency for him. Thieves town small, okay. Just missing the big now. Finding the small really first is always nice. Always happy to have the hammer and small to go into Thieves Town with, yeah. so you don't worry about orphaning that chest. And there's our first dungeon at the end, it's a crystal. I wrote castle small, okay. Well, not really impactful there, given... Yeah. Uh, we've seen nothing there for... Or Korek's already gone through all of it. Uh, for Boyne, at least, it unlocks the scum that he pulled, yep. which will give him another pod key when he goes down there. So, I think Korek is probably going to grab these two items here and then might just um, go back into Paradox and take one of the connectors, I'd expect. Uh, that's a possibility. He could also turn around and just walk back down towards the pyramid since he knows GT is there. True. Pyramid is attractive. Even Dark Shopping Mall is attractive. The Whirlpool. 
Here's a few options now. Zora just scamming us for a hard container. Right. He's just saving quits, okay. Might just start again at Link's house. What's he going from up here? Oh, just floating away. <laughs> hey, it's a... Looks like he's going to... Spike cave. Yup. With that very early cane. Yeah, Ganon is uh, yeah. in the, in the magic, bat. Called, magic bat drop down. In keg. Just a compass. Bike cave continues to just be the worst. Let's see, they, they've got so many options now. And Korak deciding for Death Mountain, which is really good for him, since this should overall lead him to part on the east side, if he follows it all the way through. No, this is actually bad for him, because he doesn't want to find Pod yet. Oh right, he hasn't grabbed the bow yet. Oops. Well, rip. But at least he'll find his cane here. True. Korok now, obviously, is going to be even more motivated to check out Palace of Darkness with such incredible prizes waiting for him. Oh, of course. Well, there is at most a 33% chance that Quake even remotely matters since we know Meyer is nothing. Yeah. And my ass bomb also. I think Quake is on Turtle Rock though. I think we saw it earlier on Brain. That's still gonna be good information for Korak, even if he ends up not caring about that lamp. Uh, just because he at least knows once he finds the Swamp Small Key that he theoretically has logical access to dark rooms and can immediately just turn around any of the logical ramifications of that. Oop. Korak should be rescuing his old man as well. I don't think we've seen Wayne save and quit out of old man yet, right? Uh, I don't think so. I certainly don't know where the old man Usually is. something I immediately do when I rescue him, well not immediately, but on the first save and quit. Just to find out where both of the exits lead. Uh, I'll do it very quickly, frequently. It depends on sort of what I have available to me. Man, Korak's going to be annoyed when he finds that bow. Yeah. And again, I wonder where our hookshot is. Isn't it on Bumper Cave? Uh, no. Oh. What do we see on Bumper Cave? Bumper Cave just had a big 20. Oh. Never mind then, I thought I, uh, I thought I saw a hookshot there. No, no. Uh. Just a big 20. So what happens when you run too many entrance seeds? I'm starting to conflate seeds in my head. <laughs> uh, no, Lord Zeno, that's actually wrong. The friends we made along the way are the real go mode. <laughs> and Wayne now also following Spiral Cave. He's so he'll sure find the my area. Where, he's where that goes. Yep. Then again, it'll give him his mitts. It oh. will, but he also just walked all the way over to desert to check the uh, yep. book entrance, stuff book like entrance. that. 
nice quick menu, Korak. <laughs> Not really here too. They've done very different things, but they have two very distinctive edges. Uh correct yeah. I would say has a lead right now if I had to pick one. Yeah, probably. Especially with the hint for GT. But that sequence broken bow for Boyne is really nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, obviously. On the other Buane hand, Boyne has infinity percent ahead. I really hate that you made the exact same joke I was about to make. <laughs> <laughs> I still didn't catch what spec the rock main entrance was. Probably garbage. There's a fairy fountain. Yeah, probably. Oh boy, small key to Meyer. I mean, that's not true, Jindra. I think it's... Oh. Skyward's big key on the other tablet. He's tablets. Well, that's a little bit of a scary thing to find. Yeah, fetch quest for a fetch quest? Ugh. But I think you can definitely tell when people are ahead or behind in entrance. Uh, it's just a little less obvious than I think you usually will see because different things are valued very differently in this mode. Graveyard match. I don't think we've seen that one. Since Brain didn't have his moon pill when he was up here, so he didn't check Chat, the two Stop documents. trying to make fetch quests happen. They're not going to happen. <laughs> Fucking Mean Girls references here. Boyne, at least, last has the ability to tell whether Ganon's tower is a crystal or a pendant. There's the logical access to the Paradox Cave on Dark Death Mountain. Since the other one was from the bottom, we need yeah. to mirror the block away. We might see Correct check this last entrance here. Uh, yeah. If he's lucky, he's going to get locked out here. Well, Unfortunately, he he's finds the other side. literally the opposite of Lucky, and oh. doesn't... I was say, it's a really, really nice routing bit. Unfortunately, it is almost certainly going to lead to him nearly full clearing Meyer without that bow. Pod, yeah. Uh, wow, yeah. How <laughs> about some coffee? <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to go get more caffeine, I'll be right back. <laughs> Thankfully, I have a wireless headset, so I can still talk, but I just can't see. Nice. Brian also grabbing, I think, a second Maya key? Yeah. Not really yeah. needed. I mean, not needed, but at least, like, things like that could be very useful logical hints for yeah. where to route yourself in the seed. They've That's already true. found Meyer. Uh, they don't have access to it, but... Yeah. They don't have a fire source yet, but at least the, like, seeing three Meyer keys really early can be a very strong signal that yeah. that is a place you should go. Like, usually we ignore the key logic in terms of what checks we do, because we just want to be efficient, but the key logic can still tell you a whole bunch. So, that's always a good indicator. Wayne now also finds the back of the desert. Hit two chats roasting me, don't worry about the joke. As we're going to see Wayne pick up his bottle here. Yep. That's not true. I can decide Bwayne is running. <laughs> it's his opponent incoherent that I can't think of who's running. Uh, Bwayne doing a fun little trick where you can pick up the bush uh, to not get mirrored. And yeah, East Death Mountain is a veritable bounty of entrances and it's really nice. Sadly, it's pretty empty this time. Yeah, this is a pretty depressing uh, Death Mountain. 
the, the dark side just has pod in the bomb shower and that's pretty much it as far as we know now. Obviously we haven't seen the like Total Rock bridge. True, although I kind of expect pod to be loaded. Yeah, probably. Dude, Resident I literally haven't messed up Bwayne's name once. <laughs> Let's at least roast me for things I deserve here. Plus, everybody knows Chloe's on the left side here. <laughs> oh, here goes Pod for Korak. Uh, this just feels kind of rough for him. Oh. I don't know, he just wants to check the entrance first. Huh, makes sense. Uh, Frostbite, your hopes and dreams are on pedestal. <sighs> And none of them has gone up to Skullwards yet, right? Uh, that's correct. Which is uh, and kind, I kind of interesting. Of suspect Korak won't until he grabs that big key. Yeah. Since he knows exactly where it is. And there's the second Bugnet. No, we're good. Okay, but to be fair, Trez and Void don't do a lot of stuff that they deserve to be rich for, whereas I clearly do. Alright, and we're now gonna get a couple of checks here in Pod that Boyne was unable to do since he came in here with three keys and no big key. Big 20. I. Meanwhile, Boyne is now equalizing and picks up his flute. So I kind of also... suspect what we're going to see here is that Boyne's probably going to actually pull slightly ahead unless Korak does find something useful in Pod. Yeah. Uh, which Korak's looking like he's planning on just... Uh, did he pick up... Oh, he did pick up a potion. Never mind. Okay, he won't mimic yeah. clip. <laughs> he had the green potion from race game and I think the second bottle had a bee or a fairy or something. Yeah. Uh, Ak, you are. <laughs> now usable silver arrows for Wayne, which is really nice. Considering he doesn't have a sword yet. Yo. Turtle Rock and Castle House Marquis for Wayne on the bow side. Yeah, for Korik. How do Twitch names are gone on my commentary page? Rip. Oh, I'm gonna start mixing up names. It's a mystery he was playing. I suspect the Twitch names are a continued roast of me, Ken. I think it's probably SRL API. As Just... Farime picks up his. Oh, god damn it, Ak. <laughs> uh... <laughs> it's just left side versus right side, easy. Yeah, these are some people coming in with their uh, first entrance time, so this is actually pretty impressive that they've been able to navigate so well after having never played the mode. <laughs> Icky and harmless Hellway. Oh, GT, right, we saw that yeah, one. we found that already. Yeah, right, right. Just didn't get PK chest and big chest. We will see the big chest. Yep. There was nothing in the big key chest, so I think this will be the uh, big item that Korak wants to pay out here. Well, and that's not anything. Yep. So sadly, no real advantage for him. Um, when.
Although that GT big key can put some uh, interesting possibilities into discussion. Mm. And I'm so scared ever since I, I had the froggy despawn on me because I entered the front of old man cave. Uh, the smith. That's that's a that's a bad break when that happens. Yeah. And I'm not sure why he didn't hand him in up at at the smith. Probably going to go back left, I guess. Yeah, makes sense. There's Spectacle Rock for Wayne. Uh, for Korak, goddammit. Wow, Hobsta, how could you possibly confuse the runners? <laughs> Not sure. Then again, Wayne has his name in big letters on his stream, so. <laughs> At least on Plus the Plus, his A is made out of the Boyne Shed emote, which is pretty incredible, so I love it. Alright. And there's the quake, so Korek is now going to know that that quake on either tablet could be potentially required. I mean, he just got spit out there out of the bottom of Spectacle Rock, so it's not needed. Oh yeah, that's fair. Okay. Because that's the connector in there. Yep. Korek should right. recognize that this connector just leads to Kag. Yeah. And goes away. Uh, Kwaski, I think we're having trouble with the SRL API to pick up the streamer names. Uh, let me ping Trez to see if he says it. I'm going back into Tartar Rock. Oh, true, we have the cane, so Crystal Roller Room is easily available. Supper only runner names. What do you mean you guys yep. don't see the names, forehead? So, yeah. Alright, well, looks like we have names coming back. And there's the Maya Becky for Wayne from the Smithies. Crystal Roller, just a hard container. <laughs> It looks like Buen is going to Skullwoods now. Just from where he's headed. Or not? Not sure Buen knows where he's going right now. <laughs> I think he's still debating. Frame rolled. I was say that particular sign throw is something a lot of people got very good at uh, with inverted, and a lot of us discovered that that's a thing that happened. And is incredibly annoying. Yep. We're seeing the pod area now. Haven't seen this one yet. Not sure where. Wayne is going. Is he going catfish? Looks like it. Yeah, I would say for me, he's pretty much going to East Dark World. Uh, little indecisive here is costing him some routing efficiency, though. Hotel Mario in Sarasarala's hut. That could have uh, been an easy 5 min GD. That would have been a really, really easy Hotel Mario percentage game. Which is the true gentleman's mode of cross keys. As Boyne picks up his sword here, thankfully. Mm, ice Rod Cave in Pod. Always good to just find a cave here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well. That's a nasty find. At least he won't have to bomb jump. <laughs> yep. Our bow is in logic. I suspect we're going to see Korak making a beeline for the GT, yeah. GT at this point. And Hera and Eastern. Yeah, though Korak hasn't picked up the Hera big key. Yeah. Smoky. 
Where was the Harabiki? Wasn't it somewhere with like a bunch of items? Uh, I don't quite remember. Uh. Oh, and a really, really good hint for Korak. Yeah, he won't have to orphan the Hyrule Castle entrance. That's really nice. Yeah, so he'll be clearing out this now. So yeah, that, that sealed entrance is maybe the only thing that would have been preventing Korak from going to GT. Yeah, he'll go and GT for sure now. Yeah, I still expected him to do it after he uh, cleared light in the dark eastern area. But yeah, of course. It might now even... he will do it with no hesitation. It might even opt for shopping mall because it's kind of awkward to like... Well, he might do that after GT as well. But maybe he's hoping to find fire rods so he can clear all of the basement in one go. Yeah, or small keys would be nice as well. Oh yeah, right, they still have only one, right? No, zero even for him. Huh. Yep. So I don't think he can. So he can't full clear the uh, left side. Some nice snipes on that pokey on Wayne's end with silvers. There's ether. Okay. It's tremendously not useful. Thank you, game. <laughs> I'm for some chain chumps on Wayne's end. Nom nom nom. Literally the worst trim in the game. Another yeah. TR small key. We know where all the medallions are. Fourth. And the only one that could possibly have anything useful is Bombos for Ice Pallet. Yeah. Well, not anymore. Ooh. That's uh that's a nice find. Buen freezing deciding how he wants to route this at this point. Yeah. Looks like he's yeah he's spending the key. I think I agree with him here. Usually you find enough TR small keys to for this one to not matter. Yeah, he only has one so far. I would be fairly confident banking that he'll at least find another at some point. Yeah. And since they found the laser bridge entrance, they will only need one banning more. the Bwain rod and chat and chat. <laughs> which is a tremendous emote. Sadly, he doesn't have the hookshot yet, so he's got to take the, the scenic route. Yep. The real question here is, it won't be logically doable, but Buena is really close to being able to full clear GT. That's true. He should be able to do it with just a single more small key given his item set up. Yeah, all being told I'd like that small key back. Yeah, of Not course. exactly worthwhile, uh, though the fire rod is certainly going to make him feel good about what he did. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing Dark Shopping Mall from Korak. Wayne might follow him over to a shopping mall and then pot area, coming from Catfish to the Whirlpool. I would say certainly at the point where Wayne's at right now, I think it makes a lot of sense for him to be willing to do more things because he's so close to just being to do everything in GT. Yeah. Just wants to put it off for a bit longer so then he can just full clear it. Unlike Korak, who is missing both the bow and the uh, fire rod to be able to full clear. Shopping mall. Completely useless question mark. Not sure which dark cave that is. Yeah, I wasn't able to pick up any sound on it, so I couldn't hear if there was anything that led them. That's a oh, pretty reasonable that's... entrance to find. Yeah. Uh, 
and it's a tremendous entrance for Korak to find because he's going to turn this into his fire rod. Yep. He will be able to clear right side GT as well. I would be very surprised if this does not turn into fire rod for Korak. Yeah. Can just quake this dude and go through. He'd have to, to pull some jumps. galaxy Wayne routing to skip that fire rod there. <laughs> As Boyne is gonna find out where the skull was big key is now. Yep. Sadly neither of them having a master sword yet, so they can actually pull the tablet. Or destroy them or whatever. Yep, we obviously know the location of one sword, but Yep. Can't quite reach it yet. Give us that small key. I am not sure where the GT small key was from, Buane. Oh, so I don't know where it is. We know... Oh, yeah, no, uh, GT Hope Room, I think. Oh yeah, it was a vanilla key. Right, right, right. Oh, and I'm now remembering, uh, Tower of Hera Big Key was also in Stalfa's room. Which is ah, why okay. Boyne has it and not Korak. Oh right, it had two Big Keys and the bow. Right, right, right. At correctly diagnosing that Boyne has just been sitting in the entrance rando hyperbolic time chamber these last couple weeks. Pretty much. The prophecy has been told, and soon all the world will weep. Behind the might of the Boyne Shed. <laughs> well, unsatisfying conclusion, but uh, Korak's gonna be real happy with that Total Rock. Yeah. He knows our GTS, so. Oh, well. That also works. To get to the pyramid. <laughs> But I don't think he's been on the pyramid itself yet, so he probably wants to go there in the dark world. And check the item. Yup. Okay, but let's be real, the Cell Saga was by far the best Dragon Ball Z arc, and it's not even close. And we're gonna get correct taking Hydea Ledge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so he doesn't have this much info yet. Yeah. It seems worthwhile. He has. I would say he hasn't any. He either hasn't done a map check or just doesn't know. Nah, neither has done a map check. Oh, he jumps down. Interesting. All right. He's he's trading these two entrances here for the pyramid entrance. Yeah, and I mean he can just flute to five or go from four and go into the world again. And then go to the pyramid. The connector. Okay. Well, let's see. Is this one? It is not what the world would call a tremendously good connector. <laughs> I hope. I think this is his first save and quit since he rescued the old man, and so yep. he. Where is it going? Bonk rocks. Okay. It's not really good, but it's not terrible. Yeah. Plus that I hit a so seed with the old man spitting me out on Mimic Cave, so... <laughs> it's just a quick exit that you can flute from, which is always nice. Where you don't have to, uh, like, mirror first. Flute was in Thieves Town at... Yeah. At Hammer Pigs, yeah. Wait, has Wayne not activated it while he was carrying the smith? That would be rather unfortunate. Korag now heading in Sicket. Oh, 
Terra is a pendant. Okay. We are just missing one more pendant for full knowledge. Oh, it takes a fire out to Skull Woods immediately. I like it. Yeah. With half Could magic. Really easy fight for him. Yeah, half magic hammer. This is like walking half a park magic, for 13 hearts, blue mail. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's like levels where I'm confident at Oh, so even Hobbs wouldn't be scared of this fight. Yep. Yeah. The Gem Pendant Thieves Town emote is actually just fantastic. <laughs> because who has not lived that seed? I say the seed is really stingy with GT keys, and it definitely doesn't help the only one we found is in GT itself. <laughs> yep. The third pendant is pendant. Skull Woods. Okay, so if Korak just does a map check, he knows. Not only is the third pendant Skull Woods, uh, I believe we're incredibly close to not just having access to, but having logical access to. We do have logical uh, access to every single pendant dungeon. Since we got the big key for Hera. At least a big key for Hera, Ice Palace and has all keys uh, for Ice Palace. Yep, I think we're one Skull Woods key. Or wait, oh, did yeah. we find we found two Skull Woods keys already? Yeah, two. Okay, and then I think the third one that's accounted for is the one that's always in its vanilla location. Yep. So, so if if I were a runner who had full knowledge of the situation, my uh, pedestal seed alarm would be going off at least a little bit right now. Yeah. The, the spidey senses are tingling. Wayne will now find his, uh, his pod key. Maybe be a little bit upset about not having had it earlier. Yeah, then again, he didn't have the bow anyway, so... No, he had, Wayne had the bow. He didn't have the big Wayne key. Wayne had it? Oh yeah, right, he couldn't potion glitch. Right, he didn't have the big key. So, he'll have to sort of go back anyways. Yeah. Let's see the back of Skull Woods. One of those nasty entrances. <laughs> we'll oh. see if we're gonna... Yeah, we'll get the pet check here coming yeah. from Korak. Uh, even without him having checked the hero map. Yeah, he still knows he has one and got the second one for Ice Palace. Alright, and that was an exciting 30 seconds that we thought the ped scene might be a thing. Goomba, pet is alive in the hearts of all the dreaming children, or something like that. I don't know. Is that a Wizard of Oz reference, Big J's? <laughs> That's a good point, Gem. Uh, without the 20 heart dream, I'm not sure Ganon's going to be vulnerable to damage. Yeah. Rip the 20 heart dream. Looks like Wayne is taking this up to pot area though, which is good for him. That'll be his hookshot. Yep. I'm That'll bring him, I think, to item parity, or actually slightly above much, item yeah. parity with correct. Medallions, but we don't really need those. Also, oh, medallions that we know mean absolutely nothing, so... Yep, since we found the fire rod. Half magic for him. Yep. Korak was here earlier and grabbed that yeah. as well. <laughs> I 
Looks it's like okay. Skull you can find Ice Palace with no magic. Just sequence break your magic. Looks like Skull we, we was now, boys. pretty much bust. And again, we still have that big key outstanding. On top of the tablet. By far the worst big key in the game. Yeah. Now he does a map check, but he does a Dark World map check. <laughs> yep, he knows everything except that Meyer's a crystal. For Dark World, but unfortunately doesn't have the important information that Hera is the last pendant. Yeah, he just needs to do a Light World map check since he picked up the Hera map. <laughs> Boyne, Boyne doing a slow, flirtatious dance towards finally getting that hook shot. Oh, nope, never mind. Ah, uh, no, Wayne. He's going back to GT with his cane and fire out. I mean, it's understandable. Uh, but... The clue to GT Big Key is that both runners have it in their inventory tech. It was in uh, a six key locked location in Pod. Oh yeah, probably, like, so he's, he's going GT first without the hookshot, which is just kind of unfortunate for him. Obviously, we know that hookshot is in there, so, yeah, sort of cast a vision, but so, just unfortunate for him. Yeah, I think it's super defensible to not go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I get it, but... Saying it's bad, just saying it's unfortunate. Purple chest? Just a hard container. Purple chest continue to be unfulfilling for every person who has ever turned it in. Um, he doesn't have the small key, does he? Nope, he's Maybe just vanilla chest. Vanilla, yeah. Or praying for the vanilla. Nope. There's a hella small in tile room. Hmm. Nice fetch quest. And looks like Wayne is going to GT now. Uh, Korak. God damn it. I don't think I've messed up Korak's name since you started doing it. <laughs> I'm just swapping them back and forth. Oh, so we'll see. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him go full right here, but it would be uh, an unfortunate play for him. Yeah. Hmm. Sadly, just a bottle. Yeah, yep. he's going. And he is going full right, which I would have expected. I mean, yeah, it, it makes sense for him. Just unfortunate for him that he doesn't have the hook shot, but completely yep. defensible play. Uh, meanwhile, Korak is going to have a nice time clearing <laughs> this dungeon. Yep. Oh, hey, small key. He's going to be Can really you... happy to see that small key. Yep. I'm pretty sure he's going to skip the... Um, he's going to skip the map chest. Uh, I would expect that, yeah. And just clear basically all of this. Who said there was anything wrong with this route? Oh, no, no. I mean, he's not wasting a key, the Residador. He's wasting a key if you have perfect caster vision. But he doesn't... He has no way of knowing that he's wasting a key. Yeah, he already has the one in the pot. He's only found one drop so far, Ak. Yes, he got the bow from Stalfos' room and left side uh, very, very early in the scene. Ice rod in Bob's chest. Okay. Um, he could, but it's 
pretty slow to do all of the bomb jumps through the room, and as noted, he did not buy the bomb upgrade like a true pro would have done, so... <laughs> I love the Fountain of Happiness. And behind us, Elmos, we got Ten Arrows, Piece of Heart, and Turtle Rock Vicky, together with the Ice Heart. Well, yep. that's a jackpot. I would probably expect Wayne to come in here and just take out Turtle Rock and take out Pod pretty quickly here. Yeah. He knows it's two crystals. He even knows there's one extra chest behind those two since it's the two red crystals. And again, that's a pretty slow check. So it'll feel good until uh, Korek finds a giant bounty climbing GT. <laughs> yeah. uh, although I would probably be disincentivized from climbing right now just because of the small key count. Oh yeah, Boyden didn't pick up a second small key. And Korek chooses to grab the map chest, which unless he mm -hmm. finds another key is going to lock him out of uh, being able to climb here. Interesting. I... Could be good, could be bad. <laughs> we will see. I mean, Chloe, the big key was locked behind six pod keys, but we found five pod keys really early. It's not out of the realm of logic to think that the sixth one might have been there. Yeah, but it's just laying around somewhere. Why would you play Ganon Goal? The entire point of entrance is to delude yourself for 90 minutes that you're not going to have to climb the tower, only to eventually give up. And then climb anyways and find nothing up there, even though the well is behind it. It's really the joy of playing entrance. <laughs> for sure. Desert Palace Big, okay. Ooh. That's a full clearable desert. Yeah. Both small and big for him now. So, Wayne will have to come back to left side for sure. No way around that one. <laughs> Chloe noticing the more important parts. Both single rupees in there. Hog. Oh, so I didn't know that you liked crystal goals too. And the big chest, an arrow, dum dum dum. Still safe to bomb jump, nice. Nice save. It is one of the more most tolerant bomb jumps in the game, but still a nice reaction there. Yeah, still a stupid beetle coming in hot. Nice jam. <laughs> Clearly they should be 100% required in logic. Well, so I think we'll see Korig on a, on a bit of a dungeon clearing spree right now. Uh, I would certainly expect that, yes. I can do what? Turtle Rock, Desert, finish off pod. Straight to Turtle Rock. Since Korek has many more Turtle Rock keys than Boyan. One of them might opt to look into Ice Palace. I could see it. They got both small keys and the big key, which, as we said earlier, is sort of a signal if you find all logical quiet keys. Yeah, it's certainly a possibility here. And it's a total of nine items. It's not the worst. I mean, they'll probably oh. do the crystals first, obviously, but... I would say I would expect people to prioritize crystals, though. Yeah, of course. It's just... There's not much left in some of these, like, pod and turtle rock are basically empty. 
Man, but it must be terrible to have to menu to that cane of Samaria. <laughs> we bullied Illus into using Quick Swap. Time to bully Buane. Oh, did we actually finally bully Illus into using Quick Swap? Uh, yep, apparently Excellent. we did. Quick phase one. Awesome hammer hits. Nicely done. That's a really, really nice Tridex there from Korek. Does he have a goodie for us? Ah, well. What? It's interesting that a whole bunch of the stuff is still locked behind the Swamp Smoky, though, since that's where our lamp is sitting. And there's the light world map check, now Korak knows. Now has some interesting decisions to make that mostly consist of let's go do crystal dungeons. <laughs> yep. Maya first. Oh yeah, he hasn't been here at all, true. Neither of them have, right? Yeah. That is correct. So we could very well see the swamp small in here. Dwayne still does not have access to Meyer. Yeah, he correct. needs to grab his hook shot. For the first time. Needs that hook shot. Say so Meyer very one of those dungeons that gets inflated a lot in value in key sanity modes compared to open modes or standard. Yeah. For sure. Same for Pod. Pod is a virtual treasure trove in his mode. 14 chests. Yeah, though at least Pod has five items in the original and is one of the most bountiful ones. Yeah, one. true. It's still like six keys gone from Pod. Yeah, whereas Meyer goes from two to eight. It's four times the item. Yep. Oh, and there's, there's the last key number six. <laughs> I can logic, Pog. I think I'll say, like, that's relatively early in the logic, too. Yeah, since um, the Moon Pearl into Hookshot in Pod area is very early. Yeah. Like, basically, Sphere 2 or 3. Depending on how you say, count. I think the, all the Dark World access was Sphere 1. Yep. And so Hookshot would have been Sphere 2. Yeah, we're basically down to two keys. Yep, just looking for the Swamp Small and the Thieves Town Big. Can't get trolled Dwayne by... Dwayne also needs a Turtle Rock key. Oh yeah, right, since he spent it in the front. Oh god, if this ends up a Turtle Rock Small Key for Go Mode garbage for him. I mean, we know a sword is on left side Swamp, so they, they'll just be grabbing that. So I they would have a Master Sword absent having a Tempered Sword already yeah. Both runners will just go straight to left swamping. Yeah, for sure. Big key, uh, and then... Okay. That's, uh, great. We have that already. Red mail. Well... Doesn't matter too much anymore. Sure. Uh, Lissadoro, uh, when we talk about logic, what we mean is kind of there's a set of things the game expects you to be able to do that generally don't involve glitches or don't involve things like routing smart to make sure that you don't lock yourself out of dungeons. So logically, the game is always going to be completable. However, many runners, most runners that you'll see will have have some degree of sequence breaks they can do. Like you could know nothing about this game, go into it, open every wrong door and the game will still be beatable. Fun fact, that is basically what I did my first season. <laughs> so far, Maya sadly pretty empty. You you haven't lived if you haven't found your go mode bow in the waterfall chest in Swamp Palace at 11 hours and 30 minutes because you didn't know that chest was there. <laughs> nice. I mean, yeah, as long as you don't glitch and lock yourself out that way, but. So logic itself ends up being a very important concept, not just for a what you're actually allowed to do, but it's also a very good thing to let you track Ooh. 
what you can do. Turtle rock small in the Maya bridge. From the seed. That's good for for Wayne. Turtle rock small in Maya bridge chest. Uh, yeah, but Boy needs something else before he, he can get He needs that hook shot. Yeah, I know. I I wonder why he hasn't fluted the five and like he did eastern early, so he's not as incentivized to go to pot area and do pot and eastern at the same time like Korak did, I guess. Mm. Where was eastern? I thought it was many more. Eastern okay. itself. Yeah, Eastern was done in Minimon. I mean, the oh, I'm sorry, area. sorry. You mean the Eastern area? Okay, that makes way he, more sense. Yeah, he did I'm that like... very early. And so, like, Korak did obviously all of Pot area and Eastern area at the same time, and Wayne just doesn't have that incentive for him to go over there. I don't know if the Discord command. I mean, Ak, it's definitely, possibly just the play to make. Could be, yeah. Could be. And Kwaski, yes, the randomizer does guarantee the game is completable. Uh, Elsador, if you're looking specifically for this mode, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, when you go to Generator Seed, switch to Entrance Randomizer. Uh, but if you're just looking to play Randomizer at all, and I would generally recommend not starting with Entrance Randomizer as your first ever seed. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a little bit of an adventure. As Boyne is now going to do his pet check to find out where that heart piece is and watch his 20 heart dream crumble before him. As Korak's gonna stab, remotely stab Vitreus twice. I mean, I've done a total of two open seats and otherwise just cross keys, but. <laughs> I'm also Did not though, very Ak? good. Did you though? <laughs> uh, let's see the three chests in the front of desert we haven't seen yet. Oh, maybe we've seen a big one. I don't remember. Uh, I do not believe we've seen the big one. We I didn't don't think uh, so find either. the desert key until. Oh, right, it wasn't GT left, so. Yeah. Boy, not having that hook shot hurt him pretty badly there. Yeah. Since he's also going to need at least one small key for GT, which the seed has been unusually stingy about. Yeah, it's really weird. How many keys is it for Render Room to be in Logic 3? Uh, I believe it should be. Th three sounds right. All four for oh, no, Wait, no, no, it's four because it's the last one on the route. Oh yeah, because you could spend your map key uh, on the map chest as well, true. Huh. Yeah, so it's, all it's four have to be... Four for map like, chest. Four in Logic. Four for... Uh... The heck is the thing's name? Uh, four for the Fire Snake Room, there we go. Or sorry, three for the Fire Snake Room, four for Rando Room. And I want to say three for Ice Armos? Because I don't think you can lock yourself out of Ice Armos with three keys. You can either open up right or left side. Yeah, remind me to check out Forecastle after this. Oh, don't worry, I already added it to my channel. It's excellent. Nice. Okay, which way is... Oh, back of desert is right here. Yep. I was wondering Kara where he was walking. Quickly. Yeah, he goes on that dungeon tree. Oh, there's the ice dive. Nice, with the ice palace picture <laughs> right in there. I guess that's a few seconds saved.
Oh, it's not a large emote. <laughs> No hookshot for paying gators. That feels bad, man. Yeah, it does not feel great. Does Meyer is small key. Third Meyer small key. Yeah, pretty sure. Let's see, Lanmo. We get silver arrows, we get silver arrows. One would assume that's pretty, that's the generally standard if you can do it. Yeah. Very nice to be done. And a free Master Sword. Nice. So I right. think he'll still do left side for Tempered? Question mark? Or is uh, it not worth just for Ganon? Depending on what he him? gets, it's not worth just for Ganon if you can yeah. do the fight optimally. With Since silvers. he has silvers, yeah. <laughs> As that lack of hookshot continuing to really hurt Boyd. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Oh, shovel finally in action. Aww. Still have that awful possibility of the uh, Skullwood's big chest containing our Swamp Smoky or Thieves Town Big Key. Since Cora can now access it. This new font master sword. And off to Hogshot Cave. Yep, nice find there for Corex. It's gonna find I don't think we found a hype cave, but other than that, this is the biggest bounty of item open. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, Jindra, bomb jumping is not at all in logic. There's a GT key. Bonking is completely in logic. And there's a swamp small. Oh. Okay. So, more dungeons for Korak. Well, Booty is in Ice Palace. Sadly, I don't think those will make up the time he's losing for this. Unless Thief on Vicky is also in here? Uh, I'm pretty sure for every minute you have the boots, you make up roughly 10 minutes. So that's going to be a pretty big time save for Boyne. <laughs> At least. <laughs> At least 10 minutes per minute. You basically go back in time with them. Ice Palace leads to a connector. Well, we saw that one. That one was yep. useless. I'll say, if Boyne hovers to the Swamp Small Key, we could see a hookshot go mode for him. <laughs> Data, I know I'm underestimating. It might be more like 20 minutes of time save per minute, but... And off to Swamp Palace. Boyne really needs this Thieves Town Big Key to pop up here. It's about the only thing that could save him at this point. Yeah, that hookshot is massive. In terms of what it costs him. Nobly, they've found all of the dungeons. They just can't clear all the dungeons. They're still missing the Thieves Town Big Key. Yeah. Thieves Town is in Hammer Packs in Village of Outcasts. Small key to Tower of Hera. Ugh. Nice fetch quest. Dwayne weakly decides that he doesn't want those 100 rupees. <laughs> That's true, yeah, sorry. The Ice Palace needs to lead to Thieves Town key either directly or indirectly. Yeah. Like green pendant or boots or whatever. Oh yeah, Hera Basin was garbage. The real awkward thing for, uh... Oh, so, the one thing that I will say <laughs> in Boyne's favor here is those boots up and up Meyer for him. True. At the same time, it just means more time spent not finding the hookshot. <laughs> yeah, although he will get the information that Desert is 100% uh, locked, or uh, the Desert Big Key is locked by the hookshot. Shot. 
And a bottle. I would yeah, probably it... expect Wayne to go ahead to Meyer at this point. At this point, this is Korok's race to lose, basically. Thiefstone, Big Key, absolutely trolling, not standing. Yeah. Uh, and even so, I'll say he needs to go left side here. For the Tempered Sword. Yep. Or I'm maybe very... more likely for the Lamps, because Dark Rooms are quite scary. Yeah. He, we totally haven't seen him navigate 17 different ones. Uh, so yeah, he, he hasn't beaten Armos yet. He's worried about that first Eastern Palace Darkroom. <laughs> that he already did. <laughs> oh, so I think if he had gotten Thieves Town Big Key before Swamp, he probably wouldn't have gone for Tempered Put. Yeah, probably. There's always a sword in the back of Swamp. No, there's always a sword in Swamp. No, no. In Not necessarily back. in the back. Don't you worry, Waterfall Chest will have a sword. So, and Boyne will pick up a second small key here, which will give him the ability to do left side and pick up his desert small, uh, desert big. There's a sword. Let's go for them. Yeah, I guess that swamp small key was pretty early in logic as well. Just right after the hookshot in the next sphere. Kind of surprised. Surprised we didn't see anybody get the. Or While we're working on the subject, Bonta, the fact that you count chess turns in the multi world credits is maybe my single favorite thing <laughs> about multi world. I'm surprised you can even detect them. Like, cold wise. Super helpful hint that we already knew about. Super useful mail. Uh, chest turning is a very advanced technique where you open the item, you open the chest on the same frame where you turn, and so you will open the chest while looking away from it. It's super cool. It's 100% useless, but a million side you. points. Get off this commentary. I, how dare you? <laughs> It's an advanced technique that only the greatest ninja masters know. Wait, it actually saves the frame? Because you don't need to turn afterwards, I guess? Yes. Hog. Worth it. Not Even if it sword. costs you time, it's still worth it. Spend three seconds on getting quick warps to save half a second. Go ahead. There's that lovely turtle rock key for Boy, oh, who's going to try to hover the gap. Aww. And is going to give up on hovering the gap just as almost as quickly. It's all right, Boy, you got infinity percent further than I would have. Same. Yeah, name's not Andy and no Pug Sprite, clearly I can't hover. It's basically impossible. And Swamp empty, you know, Thief Town Wiki. Well, not empty. Sword and the lamp are kinda nice. Yo! No Thief Town Wiki though, and so now we're gonna see what Korax gonna decide to do. Yeah. Does he still have a dungeon to clear? I guess he is still has pod to finish off, bud. He has Eastern and pod to finish. Oh yeah. 
And oh, yeah, if you want to. Some. Blaine's one room away from exiting the darkness. Off to Arms Knights we go. Oh, is Korax going to clean up these last two crystals to bring himself up to six? I wonder where that Thief Sunkey is. GT Climb is looking more and more attractive. As bad of a spot as it is. GT Climb is an option. Uh, we still have not found Hype Cave, I believe. I'm not sure about that one. I don't think so. I know we uh, have mini There is also, we know up. for a fact that the pyramid crack leads to a single one item. item. Yep. So not an overly exciting play, but could be it. Uh, also Hera and everything with... True, Hera. How many items is in Hera? Six? Uh, six items total. Although, Korek has already cleared two of them. Yeah. And we know about the third one as a small key to GT. Yeah, nobody has sent it in Green Penton since the only one that's defeated them is Wayne. And he's been busy. Uh, no. Nobody's checked Green and there also has not been a Sarheezy hint. Yeah. What was that dude again? Oh yeah, Aginos Cave. Switched with his brother. Yeah. He decided real estate in the Eastern Palace was a little too high. <laughs> As somebody yeah. who lives in the Bay Area, I can empathize with that. The, the prices in the desert are much better here, over in Las Vegas. I've heard that Goomba's actually on a losing streak right now. Oh, boy, and really needs to make the play to the pot area. Yup. Yup, yup. Especially since we know where that that small key is now, except if he hovers it, but still, <laughs> kinda needs a hookshot. Where is he going? No! <laughs> Look to five, please! Please, Blaine! Uh, Residador is amongst the army of the left player, yes. Alright, it was not... Yeah, we've seen that one on, on Wayne's end. Oh, that's true, yep. Both of them now full clearing. 12 out of 12 for TR. Yeah. And unfortunately, Wayne's idea is going to run on, out at this point, And is going yeah. to have to go back to clearing, not crystals. Yeah, looks like... Oh no, he's not going Ice Palace. I thought he might go Ice Palace. Oh, he's probably going over to pod. Yeah, with that. Uh, Lord Zeno, the hook is in Ice Rod Cave, which is just sitting in Palace of Darkness. It is the biggest thing holding Gwen back right now. Very early accessible. Sadly, just... There's just, what, two or three entrances over there for um, Gwen. Since he has cleared out Eastern area already. I don't think it's mental blindness. I mean, Wynn's just been going, like, he has had relatively item-dense things to do. Yeah, he's And it's felt more entrance. valuable than clearing entrance. Yep. Uh, Sash moved to the desert. Uh, like, you can just float over there real quick. He's house-sitting for his brother. This could be a play to pot area. I'd expecting to float to five, though. Who wants to go pod? That's yeah, true. That's... <laughs> so... I'm not sure where he's going. I mean, pod is a really... awful spot. Yeah. Oh yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll check the dark side bonk rocks, which may make him go here instead of, uh, towards... Oh, true. 
I mean, we can still hope that the, the um, Thief Sunbeki is locked somewhere in these boots tracks. Yeah, his brother couldn't pay rent, so brother had to go. <laughs> oh, and now we're going to see if he's going to try to hover oh. this. That's the other side of the... well. Oh, those boots are pretty useless. Uh, he might be doing it. Ah! Uh, I'm not looking too hot right now. I just going to give it another try. This at least will get him two chests if he can do it, because you can bonk to the other chest from there. Oh? Uh? And he oh, finds us baby. the only prize of note here. And he gets the ability to go to Desert Palace. Or, sorry, uh, get the Desert Palace big key. Uh, please leave, Wayne, there's nothing here. Problem is, this won't get him a shot either. Uh. He's gonna go into Swamp now. So the good news for him is he knows his hookshot is in... I mean... In... I I, I wouldn't in the left go into swamp. swamp. Like, there's one chest where your hookshot could be, and you needed to finish that thing. That's not true. There's uh, four, four chests total where it can be. Your ho your small key was hookshot locked. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> literally <laughs> that's just a really good chest. point. <laughs> so, to answer like, the question of why logic is important, <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, I'm going back to drinking my uh, caffeine again. <laughs> yeah, I don't Boy think discovers that he still hasn't saved and quit and restarted at the old man cave. Yep. I don't think anybody of them has exited the back either, have they? No, I don't think so. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, hey, we, I was right. We didn't. Cave. This That's is a be... decent chance for Boy. Yeah. This could be big for Boy. This is as big of a cache of items we, as, as we have left. I want big Unfortunately, key. this is looking like version 30 oh. hype cave, not version 28 hype cave. Oh! Oh! And there, there it is! is. <laughs> That's a good find for Buen now. It's a good find for Buen. Unfortunately, it also means... So, Buen now knows he'll be able to go mode Swamp. Uh, although he may decide to go for his hookshot anyway. Yeah. It pulls him away from the hookshot again. He's just gonna go there and clear up now. Uh, it also, because of its positioning, uh, Korik can find those boots and probably will not instantly mirror out of Ice Palace. Yeah. And will instead just finish the dungeon. I'm, I'm pretty sure you will finish it. Just because, like, at that point, there's, what, five checks left in ice plus the green That's band? a good point. Go-moding Thieves Town isn't really, uh, all that useful. Yeah. And maybe I'll find another sword here, the fourth sword here. Uh-oh! GT climb! Corex going on the climb that we know now has nothing. I'm not sure if I like GT climb over ice palace. Like, even without... Like, disregarding that we know it is Ice Palace you gotta do. GT Climb is a total of, what, uh, five checks? With Korik the one has behind? Tempered Sword. He found one on the left side of Swamp, which we have a hint for, and the other one just dropped from Landmolus. Yeah, so the Landmolus one will, will be gotten for sure, and Gwen has the hint for the other one, so... Sword shouldn't matter. And as prophesized by Ak the Boker approximately 30 minutes ago, it is indeed a go-mode hookshot for Gwen. <laughs> Yeah, he can't avoid the Master Sword, and he might just grab the Tempered, maybe. Well, at his point, probably not, to be honest. Since he will have uh, Go Mode Hookshot, Go Mode Swamp. I would assume he will skip the Tempered Sword. Yeah. Especially if Boyne is well-practiced with Samario strats for Master Turganon. Yeah, probably. Oh, that's a good point, Bota. He does need the Desert Palace big key in random room. Oh, right. Oh, hopefully he doesn't climb afterwards. <sighs> Uh, I mean, he won't, because... It's oh, right, it's just... Oh, yeah, he needs Lunk, hookshot he and then the... the yeah, right, needs. right, right. So, that's what key is gonna be his actual go mode. 
But what he might do is not go mode swamp. Yeah, he might find the hookshot and just do swamp. That being said, when he finds the hookshot after, he'll skip left side and then he'll probably go to GT as the most likely place. He, he should, yeah. Well, we'll see. It all depends when he goes to the goddamn pot area and finds his hookshot. His Sphere 2 hookshot. <laughs> That's gonna feel real bad. Oh, and there is in there's fact the fourth sword. Oh, and so... that probably eliminates any chance that he gets that tempered sword. Yeah. Then again, he might grab it because Desert will be after Swamp for him. Uh, that's I, fair. I think he'll just stay on Master Sword and save the time once he finds Hookshot because he'll feel a bit behind. I mean, I guarantee he also gets Tempered Sword. Uh, I mean, but yes, I will not but... guarantee he's going to go to the left side swamp. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying he's probably going to skip left side. Oh, I know. I was responding to chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was guaranteeing that Blaine will, in uh, fact, get Tempered Sword. Yeah. Wayne might actually, uh, Korak might actually not get butter. <laughs> I mean, the chest is literally two feet away from the maiden, but... He'll skip it. I can't yeah. imagine him getting butter. He has tempered. Why would he grab it? Also, depending on when Korak makes the Ice Palace play and when Blaine finally goes to Palace of Darkness, there's a very reasonable chance that the difference in this ends up being the quick swap menu time. Yeah, it it adds up over over such a long seed. That's true. Mess I mean, muscle memory does make that chest relatively hard to skip. But <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> and again, it's not like it makes any difference for these runners. Oh, oh hi. and Korak takes another time lock. <laughs> Rip leg frames. With a mirror shield after any point in the game where it would be useful. So Korek could also very, very easily here uh, decide to go for Hera before going for Ice Palace. Yeah. It's a much faster set of checks. Nice GT compass. And Korek gonna do the completely unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah, he would have been really close to 20, but he's not gonna do pedestal. <laughs> yeah. GT compass, making sure you don't forget. Uh, I think there was, it was on a restream, there was a qualifier race actually where Jem had the GT compass when he thought he had done left side. And it actually bailed him out. <laughs> nice. Nice solid uh, Aga 2 Korak, as this will hopefully, this sequence will hopefully end with Boy getting his hookshot, where he will go to the pyramid, deliver this. Yeah, hopefully. And not enter GT and climb it. Yeah, that is a possibility. Yep. Oh, maybe... Does he have enough small keys to climb at the moment? Uh, Lord Zdino, the desert pig is in a randomized room. He does have enough keys to climb, but not logically. Okay. However, if he uses the keys to climb, he will lock himself out of... Yeah. ...left side. Oh, this could go bad for Buen. So we'll see if he decides I need to find entrances, or I need to find... ...location. Or I need to find item. I mean, he's... Since he's just looking for a hook, he's... I think he might climb? Yeah, although it's two fewer chests without the hook shot. Oh, right. 
Oh. Yeah, so helmets, two of the chests are in logic without the keys. Uh, unfortunately, the other one is not. And... Uh-oh. Mm, Uh-oh. We, we saw that one already. Uh-oh. And he's... Oh, mirroring. no, never He's mirroring... What? Down here? Where's he going? He's fluting to five, maybe? Please, five. <laughs> Please flute to five. Also, we're He's seeing Hera. To five. Oh! Yep. This could actually be very close now. Finds the library with nothing. Yeah, this is... This is gonna be close. Uh-oh. I mean, we've already found the shovel, but hopefully he doesn't follow this. Yeah. Please just go to pod. <laughs> yes! Uh, I mean, simple Sarah, every cross keys is basically a 100% race. Well... And here comes the we're... TR keys. Guess we're doing Agatha first. I think the last TR key was in Dark Maze, am I right? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Well, we'll almost certainly see Korak head to Ice Palace after this. Yeah. A cape! Hype. to Bumper Cave, Pogger. Uh, Dwayne should have actually realized that there was no way that his hookshot could be in that second chest. Uh, yeah, it's still probably a good play to do just for the Desert Palace big key possibility. Yeah. But he has I'm no sure clue where that one is sitting. Couldn't be there. And here it comes as... Were we wrong about Boyne having done uh, the Eastern area? And Boyne getting destroyed in Hotel Mario percentage here. I'm pretty sure he did. Maybe he just went through the connector on there? I say, I don't think he went here. But I thought we've seen Hera from him way early. And Hera's in Eastern. Boyne went <laughs> a little too fast for Kiki. Sorry, uh, Hotel Mario percentage is a meme category where the first person who finds that particular area with the hotel with the six beds and a guy who looks like Mario. Okay, but Bonta, what if you're playing the Kiki sprite? Then Kiki is you. That would be frustrating. Sphere 2 hookshot at two hours. That feels rough. That's rough, buddy. I mean, yes, you can hover, but the swamp is grisly. Bonta does not oh, want to go to ice. He's also Let's doing hammer. Let's see too. Nope, not ice. Where is ice is on Death Mountain, right? Yeah, ice is on uh, on the ledge on West Death Mountain. Oh, there he oh. goes. Dwayne, what are you doing, buddy? Does Boyne not know that this is a pen? He's checked it, right? Yeah, he knows. All right, well, this is, He's I mean, probably just looking this for is a desert. defensible play, but... Yeah. And at least he knows the basement isn't anything. Yeah. It'll be quick. Like, I disagree with this play, but it's a defensible play. I think I would have done it as well. You're right there. You're still looking for the desert key. All right, here it is. Here's the play for Bonta. Or for correct. Ah, oh, it's been a long time since I did that. <laughs> oh, that actually makes sense, Sarah. Oh, yeah. Probably. I want to go to Ice Palace. Looks great. Uh, wait. I've definitely done that before. Oh, those two chests will go unchecked the seed. Uh, yeah, I think one of those we haven't seen. Not sure if we have seen Dermot or Waterfall. Point doesn't bumper himself off.
Yeah, Bonta's the Megazord of is in the Megazord of people playing this match, P Flynn. Brain is actually up against like seven different people. It's actually really unfair. Yeah. Not sure what you guys were thinking. Yeah, I think Bonta, you've shown a really good route this seed. I haven't seen any mistakes from you yet. And um, save and quits all mirrors away. Nice. Realizes he doesn't need it. Just do swamp. Question is then, when does Wayne decide to go GT? Uh, it should... seems to me to be the next logical location. Yeah, he should realize that his bow was also shot locked, so there might be more there. And all the big keys. GT was in the upper left uh, Hyrule Castle entry. Yep. Uh, back to Hookshot Cave for the one chest. Oh, he didn't know what this was. He only checked the front of the Hookshot Cave. Yeah. Thieves Town Big Key Data Plot is in Hype Cave, which is in King's Tomb. With the boots in Ice Palace that uh, the Korak Megazord just picked up. Yep. And Wayne is looking for the Desert Big Key, which is in Random Room in GT. So both looking for a different Big Key at the moment, but yeah. Wayne will go to Swamp first. Which we expected. Gonna come down to. So Would this is kind of which order Korak decides to check the boots checks. At least I he knows that that the Bonkroks are old man. <laughs> yeah, I suspect that Korak, even if he takes the worst possible rock Should pathing, ahead. is still gonna win. Uh, yeah. I think this was his literal last location, AA. Uh, so yeah, he has he has boot stuff, but I think of what he could do, this was his last location. Yeah, sure. I think we haven't found the connector to um, uh, Tuttle Rock Bridge, actually. Zara, the Thieves' Tent Big Key was in Hype Cave, which was in the King's Tomb entrance. And so these boots and ice palace were 100% required. Oh, Korak did you a glitch? I didn't see it. What was that? Okay. Yep. Where the fuck was that? Uh, I don't remember. It didn't register that, like, at it all. Was, it was, we weren't looking for anything at that point, so I wasn't locked in on it. Very nice coaster. Yeah, very nice coaster. Slightly easier than the hammer coaster that Boyne had to do. <laughs> and Boyne decides to not go for the Master Sword. Yeah. No, Boyne has not turned into Saha yet. Uh, I suspect he will go left side GT first, though. Well, Korak will do it for us. Yeah. Oh, baby. Hey, it is right next to him. It is, it's a possibility. Looks like King's Tomb first. 
I think a lot of it goes into how you feel like this matchup is favored if you're playing. And here comes the Thieves Town big key and go mode for Korek. Obviously in the last chest. That's so why wouldn't it? And off to three. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be quite the high chest count. Yeah, there's not much Korag hasn't done. Yep, I think he's gonna miss a couple boots locations, and that's literally it. Yeah. As Blaine is gonna grab crystal number six. He might get to go mode before uh, Korik finishes. He will Depending probably. On... Go. Well, if he goes to GT, he should hit go mode before. Yeah. And I think Korik GT is finishes. by far his best choice. And he flutes, so it looks like not going for Sashala. Yeah, it looks like Dark Vault to Pyramid. Yeah, I'd guess somewhere in the 190 range as well. I would guess high 190s, low 200s probably, yeah. Yeah, he cleared almost everything. I have really been paying attention to how many of the visible items they decided not to pick up. Yeah. Which can have a large effect on your collection rate, or can be the difference between low 190s and 200s. Yeah, the disappearing if they take damage from the blinking, that's just an uh, issue with like frame rate. Blink blinks in those frames where the stream like, shows it. He'll just be invisible. Here comes the play from Buane. He's doing it, and he goes left first. Nice. So yeah, he might even have a seventh crystal while Korek fights Ganon. Since Desert is pretty accessible. He's making the right play right away. He'll grab a couple of chests first, but, and he'll, I would suspect that he's going to check all the chests in randomizer room, even if he finds desert not last, since he doesn't know that he's pulling a tempered sword here. So, Pikmin, you're making maybe a difference in this one? I'll say, I'm, gonna, I'm watching menu times in the credit. Yeah. Like, there's not much of a difference between these two. I'll say, I do suspect that if uh, Korek dies seven times to Ganon, he will fall behind Vanta. And Bwayne's going to hit go mode slightly before Korak hits seven crystals. Probably in blind's death animation. Oh, right now. Yeah, in the blind death animation. And Bwayne doesn't even care to check the chests. <laughs> hey, I hope Unfortunately it. for Bwayne, he's going to need a pretty large... Like, he's going to need a Ganon fall or death from Korak here, I think, to close the guess. Yeah. Uh, which would be surprising from either of these runners. Yeah, both of them. Obviously, top execution and Ganon At being right next to Thiefstone. Kind of convenient. Silvers, 18 hearts. Yeah. I don't know how long Back of Desert takes. It's like, what, two or three minutes? Yeah, I think he needs two at this point. I don't and know how we're spending. It's not going to happen. Like, yeah, it's not going to happen. Not to any of these runners. 
might happen to someone like me, but no, not to them. Like, he can literally tank god knows what with red mail and 18 hearts. Like, I'm worse than both these runners execution-wise by a pretty decent amount, and I think I've taken a single-digit number of Ganon death slash fall in the last... He'll get tempered on Lanmo. Yeah. That's not actually... Oh, well, it's... They have different swords, but yeah. Yeah. We've gone all four. And uh, Bond is gonna nice look for correction look for the killer. You got one last uh, mess up. Double double. All right, Bonta, how'd you compare to uh, the runners in this one? <laughs> Get our it's GGs good. in for uh, correct here. As Blaine will maybe finish out the seed. Yeah, he might just finish it. He just needs to walk up to bed as well. Yep, not surprised to see him finishing at this point. Uh, usually if I'm like not in go mode or very frustrated, I'll stop. But if I'm in go mode, I usually will close it out. Yeah, we can even like put them both in at the same time, probably. If we want for the interview. Yeah. I'm asking them... So, this core, yeah. I believe. Core should be done in like less than two minutes. Hey, uh, core, GG. GG, uh, core. Yeah, oh this ended up being a uh, really, really good race. Yeah, great watch. I think. I joked about it earlier, and I think it's going to end up being the menu time between quick swap and not quick swap is going to be s larger than the gap here. I mean, I can't imagine, like, the only way he's not done is if he did very similar amounts of things as I did, so... Uh, I think the sense. only thing he had left was the GT climb. Yeah. And he... Um, get he galaxy brained his hookshot for two hours. Hey, that's... that's yep. the, it works out sometimes, you know? Yep. yep. I was saying, he, he hovered to the swamp small key, so that at least blocked out swamp for him for the hookshot, and just needed the desert to uh, close out the scene, and finally went there after beating swamp. He grabbed it literally as you were in the death animation for blind. Yeah, that was a tough one, but, um, you know, like, I was putting off pod a little bit because I knew when I went there I was going to climb GT, um, but, I don't know, it was, it was something. Yeah, yeah. it was sort of unfortunate, um, we were hoping that you'd find your bow from GT before you went to pod, since then you could have just single cleared it, which is really nice in entrance. Doesn't that happen often? Yeah, unfortunately, um, I had zero GT small keys yeah. for like the entire seed, and I had everything to do the basement, but you need at least one extra key to full clear the basement, so I'm just like, alright, come on guys, just give me one. Just give me one. And Yeah, this seed was, was unusually stingy with GT small keys. Yeah, eventually I just said, all right, I'm going to take the shortcut and not check the pyramid and just go there and I'll get to the pyramid eventually. But man, that was that was something. Yeah, uh, Boyne ended up going out through the bottom entrance of Hyrule Castle after doing escape. And that spit him out right uh, through the Aghanim door. And so he happened to find GT right then and bomb jumped. To yeah, stop that would be a nice... His bow. That'd be nice. Yeah, the bow, and I think there was something else two there. Big keys. Maybe? Yeah, two big, two big keys. keys right. yeah. Then again, Hera oh, was useless. Uh, so it was what, Hera and Swamp? I think so, yeah. Uh, so it looks like Boyne's gonna come in in a second. Hey, Boyne! GG's, hey, man! Everybody. GG's, GG's, Cork. Hey, GG's, Boyne. This, this ended up being a really, really interesting race to watch pretty much the entire way through. Uh, you guys took pretty drastically different paths through the seed.
And at the end, it was effectively just when is Boyan going to find his hookshot versus when is Korak going to make the Ice Palace play? Boy, I felt like I put off Ice Palace forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was a little annoyed finding those boots because I, I really, the seed was pretty uh, free with the with all the keys to Ice Palace. And Ice Palace was pretty freely accessible. So I was, I was when I got the fire out when I did, I said, okay, next place should be at Ice Palace. And I was like, well, I can just do this real fast and then I'll do that. And then, and then I can do this little thing well, it's pretty fast too. And I just kept putting it off, putting it off. But uh, I just, I, I knew I was still missing Hera. But as soon as I found out Hera was a pendant, I'm looking at the entrances I have left and there really were not very many good entrances. So I just, I put off the whole pod Eastern area forever so i just never got that hook i would have followed it as soon as i got it basically i was going to follow it obviously but uh you know maybe if i had found the hook and then not done hera and just yoloed swamp and gt maybe i would have been right there i don't know if it would have been enough time but uh yeah it's uh it's tough sometimes when it seems like all you gotta do is, is dive all the dungeons you found and you'll probably run into the items you want but not always gonna go like that yeah that hook shot was really unfortunate. I was saying, we were talking correct earlier. Uh, one of the sort of big differences between the way the seed played out is you went through the uh, bottom exit of Hyrule Castle and correct didn't early on. And so you got spit out and found GT right away and uh, bomb jumped straight to that bow. I loved the, the, the two big keys in the bow, but didn't uh, pay off as much as I wanted it to. Yeah, which was uh, great, except I think the the real differentiator here ended up being the hookshot, I think. Which I'm sure you were frustrated when you found. Um. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was right there. And at any point in the game, I could have just done all six of those entrances real fast because I hadn't gone over there in either light or dark world and I had the flute. So I, I just, it really seemed like I had access to enough that I was probably going to find the items I needed. Um, you know, maybe if I had, maybe if I hadn't got the knowledge that Hera was a pendant as early as I did, I would have kept diving some dungeons till I found Hera, and then obviously I was going to find the hookshot. But you know, that's just one of those things that can happen. It, it's it's um, kind of high variance, both key sanity and entrance. So sometimes it's just out of your control. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, you're gonna. Rando's gonna rando, and cross keys you can get randoed harder than in normal rando even. Since there's so much more stuff to orphan and just isolate. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna get upset over, you know, just some random chance, if you feel like you made you some good decisions, and you do those decisions again, you know, that, that's all you can ask for. Oh, so yeah, so we're looking at, uh, Karak picked up his Pegasus boots at 206.55. <laughs> okay, a little <laughs> later than I did. All right. Yeah, and legit, legitimately, as soon as he left Ice Palace, uh, he turned in the green pendant and then beeline straight to King's Tomb. So well, he I was get getting the other bonk exits. I, I was getting nervous about that green pendant. Yeah. I mean, really, all I had left was two bonk exits because I came out of the other two. So that that was. Yeah. <laughs> I just picked yeah, the no. right one first. Yeah. I was trying to track Boyne. I think all you had left that you didn't know was the GT climb. Um, I had one entrance on Hylia Island, and the GT climb was going to be next. Okay, and I don't think that had anything in it. Oh, I guess, uh, did you get the hint that Ganon's Tower was, uh, I guess, Pyramid Fairy? Uh, yeah, but, I mean, I was never going to get in the Ganon's yeah, yeah, Tower yeah, entrance no, no. anyway. <laughs> but it was, it was but, a yeah. question of, did you have any entrances that you that had items that you hadn't visited yet? Uh, I don't think, I don't think so, nope. And that was, that was a tough one. I, I, as soon as I found, uh, what was it, Mini Moldorm, finally, which was really late, I said, yeah. I have, like, two items that are in entrances. And, you know, one, of course, ended up being the hookshot, but, uh, I, I would... From from the way that I played it, I would make the decisions again, and you know, there's there's endless possibilities of how to play a seed as complicated as a cross rookie sanity. So sometimes sometimes it's going to work out, and you're going to get over that area early, and sometimes it's not. And you know, again, I, I I haven't been playing the mode 
for a super long time, and a good portion of the time I have been playing the mode, it's been pretty bad. So <laughs> I, I'm pretty happy with the way this worked out, honestly. Oh, so yeah, it's, it, I think it's been a lot of fun for you in particular, for, for me in particular as someone who likes watching stuff like this, like watching you evolve over the last three weeks or so, because you went from effectively last placing most of your cross keys races to the fact that you're a legitimately good player at this now. I just and, uh, just being able to finish is an accomplishment because that was that that took a long time. Just uh, consistently being able to finish. I was saying I am uh, checking now to see your menu time's about to come up. So I'm curious what it is to yeah, see if that same. ends up being within the margin. Here, uh, I was also amused that you guys found completely different uh, third swords. You both obviously got the Lanmo one, but Korek went left side swamp, and Boyne opened the chest next to Blind. Five thirty-three. <laughs> Menu time made the difference. Um, but yeah, yeah I mean, uh, just a really so great race for both of you. How you feeling about that quick swap now? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that feels bad. Literally there's, got farmed by quip, by quip swap. God damn it. There's uh, that that can be the next project. You know, I, <laughs> step step one, finish cross sanity seeds. Step two, maybe get used to not using the menu. But uh, we're not we're not quite there yet. I I would not imagine me right now would be getting too much uh, time advantage out of using quick swap. Yeah, it takes a no, bit of getting definitely. used to. Like, at this point, it's just ribbing, because I definitely understand. Like, when I first used Quick Swap, I did not use it effectively at all. Yeah, so that that's my fear right now. Is uh, Maybe I'll pick it up at some point, because obviously you can see. Uh, when you get used to it, yeah, you can you can use it very effectively. But uh, I don't think I don't think we're there quite yet. It, it's just, especially in the early and mid game, when you don't have too many items, it's just so good, because you're, like, you don't need to think much how you menu. Oh yeah. Spam the button a bit and arrive at the item. <laughs> at some Obviously, point, in the late if, game if, it gets kind of annoying. If I uh, maybe win a game or two in the losers bracket here, I'll break out some quick swap for some uh, for some of the later round seeds. How about that? I... Um, so. Yeah, I think this is probably this is the best race I've seen uh, for what we've seen so far in this tournament. Uh, it's really fun watching diverging paths. It's really fun when you have runners where it's very uncertain until the last couple of minutes who's going to win. And even then, again in fall would have probably still put Korak ahead, but would have at least made it very scarily close. Um, do you guys have any sort of last thoughts on this seed that you guys want to cover or the race itself? Uh I just want to say thanks uh, for, you know, you put on the restream and commentating and uh, thanks to Blaine. Uh, I can't wait to watch this. I, I haven't watched a lot of my race. I've had so many races over the past year that I stopped watching them, but I am absolutely watching this one back. So uh, just yeah. thanks, everybody, and uh, can't wait well, to see uh, what, what's next. If you're going to watch this back, I'm going to pre-apologize for about the seven <laughs> different names I called you over the course of this. <laughs> No worries. <laughs> At different points, you were Bonta, Recidador. Uh, I leaned into the meme at one point, and then you became Ak and Goomba and several other people. Uh, I was very tired <laughs> at the start of this race. That shit was so, so funny. Like, <laughs> so yeah. Up next for Korag, we got Bonta. Another hype match in the next round. And I don't think the opponent for Wayne is decided yet? No, not yet. We'll have to wait about that one. I uh, say, so Wayne's going to be against the loser of match 20. So he's going to be against either Raymond or Ninban. Both of them are pretty mm. solid runners. It should be fun. I, I came into this with not very many expectations, and uh, I've already fulfilled my fun quota. And just being able to get to go mode without co-work having finished, I'm going to count that as a, a moral victory. 
Uh, I don't have to play Bonta, which is also great. <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe maybe I can get some cool matches, uh, some good races that are as close as this in the loser's bracket. It'll be fun. Uh, well, cool. Thanks, guys, for this. This was a great, like, this was a really entertaining race from start to finish. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, thanks to the trackers who did a ton of work for this, both Elias5891 and SimMS. Who came in here and did a bunch of stuff. Uh, Trez, do you want to cover what else CSR is running today? Uh, I know you've got at least a couple more of these. Honestly, I... There's so much stuff, I just lost track, honestly. I have no clue. <laughs> we just linked the CSR schedule. Easy. Yeah, nah, but um, we actually have the OTR Accessible Weekly NA coming up in two and a half hours. Um, one hour later at 7 p.m., Eastern, we'll have another link to the past randomizer match from round number one, I believe. Yeah. King Seagull versus Master Slowpoke. Uh, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A link to the past randomizer matches tomorrow. <laughs> um, of which ZSR will hopefully cover five. Um, there will also be. Uh, two matches on a link to a fast randomizer, like the channel, and the link between worlds, any percent grand finals, and more OTR, and a link to the past, uh, no major glitches weekly, and Oracle of Seasons randomizer, and um, Ocarina of Time GSR and no uh, tournament, and uh, yeah, you know? Sounds I'm... like you're gonna have a fun weekend, Tress. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just, I don't know, playing myself into four. Seems accurate. All right, thanks again, for everyone, uh, for watching. Shoutouts to Alice and to Hamster and to our trackers for this uh, match, to Elias and to Samimas for tracking. Uh, Shoutouts to Korek, GG, to him and to Green for doing this amazing match that only got decided by Quickswap, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and now... No bully. No bully. And now let's all move over to the match of Relkin and Whitley Dragon on ZSR2, because that's going on right now, and they are 90 minutes in. So let's go over. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Later. Bye-bye.